I'm looking forward to starting this Christmas tree skirt together. So it's a crochet along towel where we are going to have a small piece uh, twice a week until we get the whole thing done. The Christmas tree skirt or you can just use it as a flat mat, whichever you prefer. It will have a center like this, like a netting. And we are actually going to make this part last. And uh, around the center we will have uh, like wedges, pieces like this here, and there will be 12 of these. What we are going to start actually on this video, it's just a single color and uh, sort of lacy crochet. And today we are going to make half of this and then the other half next time. Um, and this more colorful piece will be done in three parts. And then after we have made all the parts, we join them, crochet them together. And in the notes below, you will find the link to my blog where you get things like uh, yarn info and if there's any other kind of info that comes up during this time, it will be on that page too. Okay, let's get started. Great, so now we can start crocheting this. Today, in, on this video, we will make half of this here piece. So, um, and then the next video will have the rest of that. And um, as we were talking, you will need six of these pieces. So if you want to, what you can do is to start so that you make six of these straight away now until here. And then after the next time, you'll make the top bit for those six. Or of course, if you prefer, you can do it more slowly, <laughs> whatever. We're starting here and working on until here, going back and forth. First, let's just make this slip knot to start with. There. And then we will start with 11 foundation single crochets or chainless foundation, that's another word for it, which means that we are making the chain and the first row of single crochets um, single crochets in the American terms at the same time. To start with, I need to chain two. Chain two. And to start, I'll go to the first one of these two and make a stitch. Then a yarn over and uh, pull the hook through the first one of these two loops on the hook. There. So now again we've got two stitches and now yarn over and through both. So that's the main stitch. And I start again taking this here loop as well as the other side of it. There. Pull yarn through there. Yarn over and through the first stitch, yarn over and through both. And this is what we are repeating. So hook through these stitches there, yarn over and pull through, yarn over through the first stitch and yarn over and through both. So what we see now that it's making a chain here and uh, like single crochets on the other side. It will be like this here. It's just that at the moment we sort of goes upwards when you work on it. So again like this and then you keep going until you have 11 stitches here. Now we have four. One, two, three, four. Then chain three and turn. And now we are making this group of stitches into the first one of these stitches on the previous row. And that will be the same at the start of each row. 
a double crochet using American terms into the same stitch where that chain started, first stitch. Another one. So now we have three when the first three chain stitches count as one double crochet. Then chain one and another three double crochets into that same stitch still. Always into the same stitch. Okay. And this is a group of stitches that you will have at the start of each row. Then chain three and a double crochet into the fifth stitch here. So skipping four, one, two, three, four, fifth. And chain three again. and a double crochet into the same stitch as the previous one. Again, chain three. And this same group of stitches at the other end of this. Um, so again, skipping four, one, two, three, four, into the last one. Three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets. So that's uh, that row done. Then chain two and turn. And now we'll make the same group of twice three double crochets into this here space in between them on the previous row. Three, double crochets. And chain one between the group of three and another group of three. I won't be showing now that this at the end start of each row because it will be the same, but I'll show it a couple more times. Then chain three again. And now we are going to make six double crochets into this here hole left on the previous row. So six double crochets there. I'm going faster now because double crochets are always the same. Five and six. Two, four, six. Yeah. So that's six. And then chain three and at the end of the row again two groups of three double crochets in here with one chain stitch in between. So three, one, two, three, chain one and three again. And this is a thing that you will be making at the end of each row. And I won't be showing that at the end of the row anymore. Just mention to do this. And I'll show one more time to do it in the beginning. The only difference is just the starting. Uh, 
uh, chain 2. You always chain 2 before turning. And here again, 3 double crochets, chain 1, and 3 double crochets. Right, so this is what you will do at the start of each row. Then we continue chaining two here. And we continue to make this here fan shape in the middle. Now we'll have six double crochets like in the previous row here, but with one chain stitch in between, so then it sort of spreads out. Double crochet into the first one chain one and double crochet into the next one and chain one and so on. So chain one and double crochet into each one of these until you get six. There, so as you can see, it sort of spreads out now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, chain two, and then make this group at the end. There's those done, and then you chain two and do the same on the next row. So on this row, we continue this here fan. You chain one this time, and then we make a double crochet into each of the double crochets on the last row plus into the gaps in between. So a double crochet here and into the gap between the two double crochets on that row. Then again into the top of that one and in between and so on until the end of the row. This will give us altogether 11 double crochets for the fan. And the last one. So this is what it looks like at the moment. And this was the end of this fan. And next we'll start one that looks the same but it's slightly bigger. So that this whole thing spreads out. And now again here chain one and then do the end. And again start the next row. Here we see where we are at the moment. So we have this first fan done and then we'll make another one. Otherwise the same, just slightly wider. To start the next fan, we need to chain four. Four. And then we'll make a double crochet into the middle of the previous fan. And that means we need to skip five one, two, three, four, five, and make a double crochet into the sixth double crochet of that row. So we skipped five here. And then you chain four, four, and a double crochet into that same stitch as the other one. And then again chain four and then do the end and the start of the next row. And now we will make eight double crochets into that there loop and to get there first chain three, three 
and then eight double crochets without any chain stitches in between. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And again chain three and do the and do the end of the row and the start of the next row. Looks like this. And to continue I'm chaining two two chest and then a row with a double crochet into the top of the first double crochet on the previous row and chain one and uh, see, double crochet into the next one and so on. So always one chain stitch in between until you get to the end. So just every one so that it spreads out a little. Chain stitch in between. Notice I've left my Facebook on at the background, sorry. <laughs> okay, so that's the similar thing as in the previous row, just that there's a few more stitches there. And chain two, and again end and start of the row. And then we are on our last row today. Chain one and a double crochet into each double crochet and each gap on that row there on the previous row so double crochet into a double crochet and into the gap in between them space between them that till the end of this here bit until you get to here, there, and then you chain one and finish this here row. And this is where we are today and uh, next time we'll continue from here. We'll do the top of this and, uh, and as you remember we will need six of these wedges so you could make six like this here now either in the same color or you could make every single color different. Okay, great. I'll see you in a couple of days.